Martin. Martin. How many kisses did they give her? Can we count? How many kisses is it always? Enjoying each other's company, they play together for hours. Two hours a week, in fact. Because Sue is a volunteer recruited by West Sussex County Council's FAB service. FAB stands for Fun and Breaks, a service designed to give weekly two-hour breaks for disabled children and their families. Four-year-old Samuel has got to know Sue over two years, and the time just flies by when they're together. I think when I retired early from work, I felt that I needed to do something, and I wanted to give something back to the community. Um, and I searched round for volunteering jobs. Um, decided I didn't want to work in a charity shop or do anything like that. I wanted to work with quite closely with people. Sue calls at the family home each week to take over for a short while the task of looking after Samuel, who has cerebral palsy. Today they're going out, but because the service is flexible, the visit could just as easily be in the evening or at a weekend instead of a weekday, and it could just be staying in. Fun and Breaks does what it says on the tin. It's fun and a break for parents and children alike. A little space for parents to go out themselves or just catch up with those things which simply don't get done otherwise. Really, it's invaluable. It means um, I have two hours where I can either do paperwork, I can go shopping, I walk the dog, um, you know, or sometimes I just chill out. Um, it just gives me that bit of time to myself to get things done. We don't ask for qualifications, so they may have had a family, they may not, but they're caring people who are available for a couple of hours and will be flexible and are happy to learn how to care for a child. There are a whole range of people, our volunteers. So we have pensioners and everyone in between, males and females, and some couples too. Although Samuel has physical problems with cerebral palsy, most families on the Fun and Break scheme have children with learning disabilities. You know, you could do this. You need to be over 18, but you don't need any qualifications because we'll train and support you. After a criminal records check, you'll be given a first aid course and a training day. We'll also cover any ongoing out-of-pocket expenses. It's just a two-hour commitment once a week, but volunteers tell us it really puts their own lives into perspective. You can show Daddy. I think you've only got to look at Samuel to see what I get out of it. He's a, he's a lovely little boy, and uh, and it gives me a sense of fulfilment. Um, I've, I'm friendly with the family. Um, it, they've become like an extension of my family, really, so um, I get a lot out of it. He just loves seeing her, and um, she's become like part of the family, really. And, uh, yeah, she's a really special person in his life. If you become a fab volunteer, you'll find it one of the most rewarding things you've ever done. <laughs>